Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Obviously, this is BAM Box Horror Box. It is the January BAM Box Horror Box. Um, seems like it's been a while since I've done one of these BAM Box unboxings, and that's for actually two reasons. Uh, one, they shipped early on the December one to make sure everyone got it before Christmas time. Uh, and two, this one is actually late. Um, Adam MacArthur, the founder, CEO of the company, had said something uh, on in the community page on Facebook just saying, hey, just so people know, all these boxes went out, but there were some items that had to be sent back. So what I assume he means by that is that some of them didn't kind of meet quality control for them, so they had to have them sent back and get new ones. So unfortunately, both of my boxes, the pop culture one and the horror one, were involved in that. So that kind of sucks. Um, I was thinking about it and I was just like, this sucks for me because of doing YouTube unboxing videos. Uh, because, like I've said before, if I, you know, if I if I'm in the first batch of people who gets a box and I do the unboxing immediately, which I usually do, uh, I can end up getting like in a week like 600, 700, 800 views on the on the uh, video. But if it's delayed even a few days. Uh, it's like in a week I get 100, maybe 200. So there's a big difference. So if I wasn't doing YouTube unboxing videos, I wouldn't really care that much to be honest. But since I am, it kind of really sucks for me. So whatever. Also lighting in here looks a little different because I actually, there's some natural light at this point. I'm usually filming this when it's dark. Um, but there's some natural light coming in to diffuse. So probably looks better, but it won't always be that way. Sorry. So anyway. Let's get into this. Uh, I've heard good things. Obviously, this is a... I don't know if this is the way they're going permanently. And also, this is a much bigger box. Um, so, I don't know if that means actually bigger items. Could be. And this is actually the... Uh, was a free one for me. Because if people remember, I had a um, instant winner in the December horror box. So, I cashed it in for this. I was, I was too late in getting... Or no, I'm sorry... Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm misspeaking currently. My February horror box will be my free one. But I did get that instant winner in December. I was too late to have it uh, redeemed for this box for January. So um, I'll have it in February. So I'm excited about that. But anyway, um, oh, I just I got this yesterday. I didn't have time to do the unboxing then because family stuff. Uh, supposedly my pop culture one is supposed to come tomorrow. So if it actually happens... There's going to be a lot of weather issues, but it should still make it here, hopefully. Uh, I will do that unboxing tomorrow if I get it tomorrow, So just so people know. Anyway, going to get into this. And while I'm pulling out the tissue paper for my cat, who's actually not stalking me at the moment for a change, um, I'll just let you know, please hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to know whenever I put out a video. I'm going to be working on some more videos, actually, so just know that. Uh, one of the, th I'll tell you what one of the things is, kind of tease it toward the end. Um, just get in this box now. Something was in that. I assume it's the prop. I'll feel around for it to see. Ooh. So there's something substantial. Okay, I assume it was this thing. So the prop is, I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't even, it's been a while, so I don't even remember what the properties are supposed to be for this box. So... Or franchises. Does anyone recognize this? Off the bat, I don't. What would that be? It looks like a Viking skull, basically. Actually, you know, that's kind of interesting that they were like, they said that they sent some back, I assume for quality control. I'm like, look at this. There's like this excess stuff up here. So was it worse than that? I don't know, because that's kind of because it's actually blocking one of the letters right here totally. So quality control's a little... I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say it's poor. It's just there. there's an issue there. Anyway, I don't really care about the props anyway, so whatever. We got like a... Something rolled up. Oh, uh, I'm assuming this is like a um, animation cell or something like that. See? Rolled up. It's taped. Yeah, it's an animation cell. Yep, certificate of authenticity on the animation cell right there. People wanted to pause and look at that. And it looks like it's a bat. Not 100% sure what that's from, but here. 
I can line it up well without too much glare. No, glare's hard. You can see it right there. It's a bat. So there's, so really there's not much on there. Let me read the certificate of authenticity. Um, oh, Groovy Ghoulies is what it's from. I've, I've not seen it. I don't think I've even heard of it. So I don't know. I mean, once again, the, those animation cells for me also have just been like, eh, whatever. I mean, I'm sure some people out there really like it. Oh, I have additional tissue paper. Cool. Um, I have a, oh, cool. I have a one up. Which, by the way, for this box, um, Adam MacArthur had also said that there was an issue with the labeling on their um, spoiler sheet saying which of the art prints was actually the upgrade. So you just look at the number, and if it's out of 500, that's the upgraded one. So maybe that's what I've got going on. Um, okay. I'm going to leave. Okay. I kind of saw it, but I'm going to leave that. I've got another. Okay, so this is the certificate of authenticity. I didn't read it yet. Okay, so here's the art print. Um... Uh, from the fan art collection, art print is by Red Rum, and the artist who did it is Davis Ryder. Oh man, yeah, dude, this is this is ooh, that is. Let's see if I can get it like non glare. Okay, that that's the best way. I mean, it's kind of to one side, but that's the best way you're gonna see it. I'm sorry, that's the problem with using a ring light. Yeah, look at that. That is like. That looks, one of the things, um, I love The Shining, I'm huge on The Shining, so to get this, and this is, this is the upgrade, oh, I'll be interested to see what the normal one is, this is awesome, like the twins, with that typical um, design of the um, carpeting at the Overlook Hotel, this is super sweet, I love this, this is, this is like, yeah, this is, this is going on my wall, this is really, really nice, really nice. Love The Shining. Love it. It's one of my favorite horror movies. Um, Davis Ryder, man. Home run right there, buddy. And you can see the autograph. Right there. That. That. Let me do the pin next. Because if the pin is good, then I'm like, I'm totally happy with this. Mm, I'm not that excited about this pin, to be honest. It's called Time to Play, and it's by Nick Kokoza. I know he's done a few of these in the past. Um... I'm sorry. It's Chucky, obviously. I don't think it look... I mean, you understand that it is supposed to be Chucky, but I'm sorry, it's it doesn't look like Chucky that much to me. Like, the hair looks way too full. The hair is way too big, in my opinion. And there's just something about the face. Like, I think you needed to look a little meaner, to be honest, to get the idea of Chucky down it needed to be a mean face as opposed to, like, the normal good guy's face. Um, I think that's why it kind of misses a little bit for me. You know, I'm criticizing it, but at the same time, I fully admit that I don't have the skills to do anything like this, and I'm not artistically inclined, really. So, you know, Nick Kokoza, I'm sorry, you, you will always be able to do better art than me, so when I criticize this, I apologize at the same time. I understand that you know, you're an artist, I'm not, but, you know, yeah, it just doesn't, doesn't excite me, because it doesn't get through Chucky, it just, it just doesn't, okay, so I think the last thing in here is the signed item, and it is a signed item, which I think is kind of cool, um, I'll show it to you after I figure out who this is, uh, knife has been hand signed by, oh, I'm sorry, it's a knife, <laughs> uh, hand signed by Daig Fersh, who played young Michael Myers in Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Didn't like that movie. Thought it was terrible, to be honest. But, this is a cool item. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it, because it's an actual knife. I like how they have the BAM sticker on the handle. Um, yeah, I just think it's... Oh, I can just take it out and show everyone. It might be make it a little easier. There you go. You can see... Yep, it's legitimately, it's kind of sh yeah, sharp. I mean, I'd assume so because it's like actually purchased for this purpose, so it makes sense. But no, that's cool. I like that they do items like this. No, oh, poke through the thing. I'll keep it there. Uh, I like that they do items like that. It's just for me, I don't care about that actor just because I don't like that movie at all. 
Uh, I think it's a terrible movie. Just terrible movie, to be honest. I watched like the first 20 minutes and I was just like, I'm out. It's it's that bad. But I do like Rob Zombie, I will say. I like some of his stuff. Devil's Rejects was really good. Uh, I actually had fun with his animated movie, El Super Bisto. I thought that was pretty interesting and fun. And I think Lords of Salem is a pretty solid flick. So uh, I like what he does. I like Rob Zombie as a person. I like the fact that he's multi-talented. He can do film. He can do music, um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so that's cool. I just, the Halloween movies, just, just not good. But anyway, there you go. Let's look at the spoiler sheet because that is the end of this. All right. So here we go. Uh, there's like a whole lot of writing on here about this. And do, 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 it, it shows some of the animation cells, too. Obviously, there were a lot of options. So I'm going to do this. Go ahead and pause on it if you want to actually read that. I'm not going to read it out to everyone. And then there's there are some of the samples of other animation cells people could have ended up with from Groovy Ghoulies. Way more interesting than the one I got, but whatever. I mean, it's a bat. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, they were going to be giving away as uh, a prize a signed Shining poster, which is really cool, by did a, Elise and Louise Burns, who are the people who played the Grady Twins. That's awesome. That's super awesome. Yeah, super awesome. Now, um, we have the pins. The, the regular one is what I got. Then there are two limited edition ones, a, out of 250 and an out of 99. Now those look more like Chucky. I like the out of 99 a lot because, well, if you've seen the movie, that's why. See, the out of 250 gets Chucky through. The idea of Chucky, it comes through a lot better. So I think that's much better. I think the first, the normal one should have also been like that. Yeah, Whatever. Uh, so, oh, Sleepy Hollow is where the prop is from? I don't remember that. Oh, Sleepy Hollow, the show. Okay. I, I haven't seen the show, so that's why it didn't click with me. When it just said Sleepy Hollow there, I was like, just thinking the movie with uh, Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci and Christopher Walken, which, honestly, I like it. I know there are a lot of people who don't like that movie. I like it a lot. Sorry. Uh, then we have the signed knife, and... Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, okay, so the knife is actually an upgrade in itself. So I got an upgraded print and an upgraded knife? Awesome. No, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Um, so there were pictures, you know, the uh, movie stills that were the more common things, which, you know, they look good. They definitely look good. Yeah. Oh, are these, these are numbered, apparently? Mine's not numbered, though. That's weird. Because it's... Because it should... If you